Good morning. Let's do motion graph problems to review for the AP Physics 1 exam. This is a part of my AP Physics 1 Ultimate Review Packet, so please consider signing up at ultimatereviewpacket.com for the full review. Flippin' Physics! Billy, please read this one. Question 1. You slam your foot down on the accelerator pedal in your car, causing it to speed up with a uniform acceleration. After a few seconds, you take your foot off the accelerator pedal and immediately slam it down on the brake pedal, causing your car to slow down with a uniform acceleration. Your velocity as a function of time graph is shown. Which graph could correctly show your position as a function of time? Thank you, Billy. Bobby, please solve this one. Okay, well, the slope of a position versus time graph is velocity. Therefore, we use the slopes of the position versus time graphs to figure out which one could fit with the given velocity versus time graph. The initial velocity on the velocity versus time graph is zero, so the initial slope of the position versus time graph must also be zero. And the only position versus time graph which fits that is choice A. Yeah, all three of the other position versus time graphs have an initial slope which is not zero. The only choice which has zero slope at the start is choice A. Is that really all we have to know to solve this problem? Bobby, that is correct. And on the AP exam, I would suggest at this point you bubble choice A and move on. However, because our goal here is to make sure you understand as much as possible because it will help you review for the AP exam, Billy, please explain how the rest of the velocity versus time graph fits with choice A. Absolutely. The first part of the velocity versus time graph has a constant positive slope, and the slope of a velocity versus time graph is acceleration. Therefore, the first part of the motion is uniformly accelerated motion with a positive acceleration. And the second part of the velocity versus time graph has a constant negative slope, and is therefore uniformly accelerated motion with negative acceleration. Going back to the first part, the velocity increases from zero to some positive value, so the slope of the position versus time graph increases from zero to some positive value, and then in the second part, the velocity decreases from the same positive value to zero, so the slope of the position versus time graph decreases from the same positive value to zero. Yeah, the whole position versus time graph for choice A matches the given velocity versus time graph. Thank you, Billy. Bobby, please read the next question. The graph shows the acceleration of a particle with, re with respect to time. Assuming the velocity of the particle at t equals zero seconds is negative 10 meters per second, which of the following is the velocity of the particle at t equals eight seconds? So, please solve this problem. In order to solve this problem, we need to remember that the area under an acceleration versus time graph equals change in velocity. The area from 0 to 2 seconds, or area 1, and the area from 2 to 4 seconds, or area 2, are equal in size and add up to a rectangle with a height of 4 meters per second squared and a width of 2 seconds. And 4 times 2 gives us 8 meters per second for that area. For the area from 4 to 8 seconds, or area 3, we can use the area of a triangle equation. 1 half base times height, so 1 half times 8 seconds minus 4 seconds, all times 4 meters per second squared is 8 meters per second. The total area then equals 8 plus 8, or 16 meters per second, and that equals the change of velocity, or velocity final minus velocity initial. The velocity initial is negative 10 meters per second, so we get the final velocity of the particle is 10 minus, or 16 minus 10, or 6 meters per second, which is choice C. What? Remember, it is the area under the curve. Yeah, under. Right. Under. I forgot that area below the horizontal axis is negative, and area above the horizontal axis is positive. Yeah. yeah. Technically, it is called the signed area, which is the total area above the horizontal axis minus the total area below the horizontal axis. Signed area? Yep. Signed area. Okay. Maybe that will help me remember that next time. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Fixing my solution. Area 1 and area 2 have the same magnitude. However, area 1 is below the horizontal axis and negative, while area 2 is above the horizontal axis and positive. 
Therefore, the signed area from zero to four seconds is zero. So the signed area from zero to eight seconds is just the area from four to eight seconds or eight meters per second. That still equals velocity final minus velocity initial, which means velocity final equals eight minus 10 or negative two meters per second, which is choice A. You know, it's really irksome that Bo's mistake with the area resulted in one of the multiple choice choices. Yeah. Mr. P always does that. 18 meters per second, or choice D, is what you get if you forget to include the negative in the initial velocity. Whoa. Really? Consider me irked. And why do I do that? Because that's what they will probably do on the exam. Exactly. You need to assume they will include multiple choice answer choices on the multiple choice exam, which match answers y'all will get for making common mistakes. Consider me hornswoggled. Uh, not really. Why, why not? They're not deceiving us. They're just predicting mistakes we are going to make. It still peeves me off. True, but it's not hornswoggling. It seems like hornswoggling. If you say so. Back to the matter at hand. These concepts about motion graphs are definitely going to come up on the AP Physics 1 exam. And they will often be combined with other topics in the AP Physics 1 curriculum. So, class, the slope of a position versus time graph is... Velocity. velocity. The slope of a velocity versus time graph is... Acceleration. acceleration. The area under a velocity versus time graph is... Change, change in, in position. position. Well, well the, the signed area. Right. And the signed area under an acceleration versus time graph is... Change, change in, in velocity. velocity. Exactly. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoy learning with you.